I'll put it this way to you. This ought to knock your socks off. I had a man call me up one day. He says, can a Christian be a practicing homosexual? He was setting me up. I'm supposed to answer this question. Can a Christian be a practicing homosexual? I says, absolutely. <gasps> they go into cardiac arrest. And I've had other people ask me, says, can somebody like Hitler, who killed millions, can Hitler be a Christian? If he ever trusted Christ as a Savior, yes. If you say no, you don't get it. Well, he's too bad. Oh, really? The only way I know that I'm saved is that I can believe he can be saved. Because if God can't save him, how do I know God can save me? Well, I'm better than he is. Find that in the Bible. There is no difference in God's eyes. We have all sinned. And God only requires one simple little thing. That's perfection. And everybody could do that, right? No, if we could, that's the way it would be. But it's not. Now, look up here. This hand represents you and me. The wallet represents sin. We all have sin on us. Everybody, the worst person in the world, regardless of what he's done, God loves that person just as much as he does anybody else who supposedly does the best you know, like dear old Aunt Susan, she'd give you the shirt off her back. She goes to church every Sunday, and she's got a car that's 20 years old, and it's only got 20 miles on it. It doesn't matter how good they have been. God loves us. He hates what we do wrong. And the Bible says, because we've done the wrong, we're guilty, and we've got to pay the price, which is eternal separation from God. So the eternal separation... And there's a way of getting eternal life with the Lord. So God says uh, we have to pay for it. That's eternal separation from God in hell. God loves us and wants us to go to heaven. And to go to heaven, you have to be perfect and righteous as God. None of us are. We have all sinned and come short of God's perfection. So God says we need a Savior. And I cannot save myself. My flesh, me. I cannot deliver myself. I cannot save myself. This hand represents Jesus Christ. God in the flesh, he came into the world because he loves me. Hates my sin because my sin separates me from God. So Jesus Christ, who had no sin, didn't have to die. He took all the sin of all the world, paid for it on the cross, and came back from the dead and said, the only thing that we have to do to go to heaven is believe that he did that for us. And when I believe this, he gives me as a free gift everlasting life. I go to heaven on what he did. And that's forever. I only have to do this one time. Because when I believe this, he puts that payment he made to my account. He don't have to do it again and again and again. Jesus says, once and it's done. He that believeth on me hath, present tense, right now, hath everlasting life. So I know that I'm going to heaven when I die because I don't have any sins to pay for. And he's already given me everlasting life. He did that the day I trusted him, which was 58 and a half years ago. So I got it made. I'm going to heaven whenever I die. And now because I am God's child and I'm going to heaven when I die, well, I don't want to wait till I get to heaven to praise the Lord. So I'm going to praise him now. I don't have to wait till I get to heaven to sing about him. <laughs> I'm going to sing him now. And I don't have to wait till I get into the kingdom to serve him. I can go ahead and serve him now. If that's going to be so good, why don't I go ahead and do it now? So I made up my mind. I'm going to serve the Lord now. You know why? Because I love him. Because of what he did for me. I don't have to. But I want to. There's a lot of difference. Do you want your children to love you because they have to or because they want to? You think it through. You know the answer to that. So I, I question people's love for the Lord when they have no desire to serve him because he said, if you love me, serve me. And him that served me. He said, him will my father honor. Anyway, if you've never trusted Christ as your Savior, I think today would probably be a good day to do it. That way you can start off the new year right as a child of God.